successful man in Pleasant Grove has taken the tragic and sudden loss of his wife and turned it into a way to spread hope and faith for others by making iron crosses. Our Jillian Brooks sat down with Daniel Long about why a simple project means so much to him. She was my absolute best friend from day one. Just after 8 on the morning of October 7th, 2021, Daniel Long got a call from his cousin. He told me Rachel's been in a wreck. And I just left work, walked out the door. How I got there so fast, I'll never know. His wife, Rachel, was on her way to work on I-459 when another car crashed into the northbound lane and hit her head on. The nurse come running up to me. She says she's gone. And I said, where'd they carry her? I thought she's gone in the ambulance. She said, no, sir, she's gone. I fell to the ground, but my life been dumped upside down since then. It was a nightmare that Daniel could not wake up from, so he turned to his faith to find his next steps. I went back to where she had her accident on 459, and I stood there, and I just told God, I said, you know, Rachel always said, you're in control, so you got to show me what to do. We'll let these get hot for just a second. Over a year later, he is still following that message, turning hot iron into handheld crosses in honor of his wife, Rachel, and his commitment to faith. The average person would choose a pill or a bottle, and I've chosen a hammer. Daniel gives the crosses to people he encounters in his everyday life, some of them lifelong friends, others strangers he met the day before. Of the 600 made, Daniel says about 500 people who have gotten one knew Rachel personally. You won't find anybody that would have told you that she was, you know, she had an enemy. She's just that type. And these crosses have been all over the world. Daniel's original goal was to make 25, but he's past that just a bit. This cross is what keeps me going. And he is making a difference there. That was our Jillian Brooks reporting. Daniel uses Facebook to track uh, the crosses as they make their way across the globe, all in Rachel's memory.